Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm with Samuela. Hi. It's, she's my colleague from Maxi Hotel and she's pretty special I would say. She is half Italian, half Dutch um, and she moved here to the Netherlands alone, kind of alone, at 12 years old to the Netherlands. So I would like to um, chat with her about what she has been through. Yeah. Tell me about yourself and then why did you decide to come to the Netherlands at 12 years old? Well, actually, uh, so I'm living now for 10 years in the Netherlands and yeah, the main reason was my future because yeah, Italy, like if you come from a smaller town, you don't have the right future as you can have here. So actually for my study, but I think like, yeah, I mean, Later, I will probably go back. Yeah. But at the moment that I have like to study, learn things, or just enjoy my life, I think here it's better to start with my life and then maybe go back. And want to start. Yeah, I'm not sure yet. Did you decide to come by yourself or who encouraged you? So I used to live here from my first so my third year of my life, and then I went back. Um, and actually followed school and growed up there. Yeah, we went on vacation in 2009 uh, here and I really liked it and enjoyed it. Maybe it was the, like the vacation feeling, but my instinct just told me I really want to be here, you know, and my aunt asked me as well, like, if you could choose, um, would you like rather be here or there? Mm. And that was in 2012 when I was on vacation here again, so three years later. And I told her, yeah, actually, if I may choose, I will choose for being here. And after that, I, yeah, I left Italy and I went to, to here. With my, yeah, <laughs> yeah, with my aunt and with my cousins. Mm. But you came here with Samuel in Dutch, right? Yeah, learned Dutch right, over yeah, here. Yeah, indeed. And it was like an international school and I was there since 2012 till 2013, mm -hmm. just for one year. And it was really nice because there were like so many people from like all over the world just learning Dutch and it's really like weird but amazing at the same time how you can communicate without knowing the language. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, yeah, it's really weird though. But really nice, yeah, really nice experience, yeah. So you mentioned that you have like aunts and family here, but your like direct family, your parents were not here. Yeah. Yeah. Were they like supporting you the decision of coming here or they would probably prefer you to um, stay in Italy? I think my mother uh, more than my father. Like my father there like the idea at the beginning because actually I'm his only only child, you know. Um, but my mother, yeah, she was like, okay, if it's if it feels good for you and she is Dutch mm -hmm. so she know she knew already that I could have like a better future over here and my study will be like much better than if I followed it in Italy um, but I think my father no he didn't really like the idea but at the end he knew it was better for me as well um, yeah so actually since 2012 the first time that I went back was in 2015. Oh, so okay. I did, yeah, I did a summer year. class. Wow. Apart from like missing the family part, is there any challenges that you face during this 10 years period? I think the biggest one is like, um, I grew up in Italy, so like my culture and traditions are still from there but my habits are here so i think the biggest challenge was to combinate those two because the people from here think like the mentality is different than in italy yeah. so i see that as well when i'm with my friends in italy and i recognize it as well when i'm here with my friends so i once um brought like my ex when I was still with him to Italy as well and it felt so weird because it felt like I had like I was living in one world in Italy mm -hmm. and I was living in another when I was here so at the moment that I brought him with me it felt like you know, so weird two words you know together <laughs> like yeah you wow yeah that was really weird 
just like the because of the cultural background, the difference. Yeah, the, you know, have different approach of different opinion. Yeah, 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 the, yeah, indeed, yeah. yeah. That's the thing. If it never happened, you would never realize it. Okay. No, no. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I'm really grateful for that because I mean, I think if I was still living in Italy, I would be like a not as person. far. Yeah, not as far as I am now, for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah, it took uh, a lot, you know, because I didn't saw my parents so much when I was that young. So I think yeah. a piece of me would have like wanted to. But I think at the same time, yeah, I really grow. Yeah, because twelve years old is really young age. Yeah, yeah, it's difficult. Yeah, I just followed my instinct. I guess it really felt good. So I thought, yeah, why not? Like, so you're twenty two this year. Yeah, twenty two. Yeah. It's kind of like half. Yeah, half of your I mean, life. Yeah, really easy. yeah. I'm thinking about that too. It's really weird uh, because I was <laughs> I was thinking like, okay. Should we try at another uh, country oh, know, okay. to to see and then stay there again in a few years and then see how that will be? But I'm like, I think yeah, I'm going to begin with another study in September. You know, the nutrition and dietetics, and I think after that I'm just gonna make a decision if I want to be still to stay here. But do you ever consider to move to a third country? Yeah, I think Portugal or Spain. Portugal. Yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's still, yeah also <laughs> and like the manners mm. and like the mentality is a little bit the same as Italy. Yeah, and I think I'm more attracted to that, that mentality than like the the Western North Europe, like one prison. Yeah, 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 and really like distant. Yeah, that's true. From yeah. Meet new people. Would you introduce yourself as Italian or Dutch? It's weird because if I'm here, I feel more Italian. But if I am in Italy, I feel more Dutch. For me, it really depends with who I am at the moment, mm-hmm. how I feel. Yeah, it's really weird. But normally, like if it's a general question, that I will be will say um, Italian mm-hmm. because yeah, I really grew up there, and it were like the most important years of my life. Mm-hmm. Stays in you, you know. Because you grew up there, you think. All the like basic knowledge you got it from yeah, your also indeed. family yeah yeah and at the moment that I like uh, was living here with my aunt I don't really have the feeling that I learned that much um, person personality person, wise yeah yeah because I think that 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 like I built up before right mm. before coming here do you have like any Tips or advice for the people who maybe wants to move to another country. Well, for sure, I never thought it would have been like like it is now, because I was well when I didn't even know I was like able to live on myself, you know, and just work full time, finish a study, begin with, <laughs> you know, with a study again. Yeah. So. I really would say if it feels good at the moment, then you should do it. Maybe you will get like regrets afterwards because you chose it, but at least you don't regret you don't regret yeah, you not do. doing it, you know? Yeah. So uh, that for sure. I think it's also a good idea to just step in something without knowing. You know, you don't have to know always how it works out. Mm. I think you should just try and mostly of the time if you don't know it works out good. Yeah. That's seriously, yeah, because you don't have any ex- expectations, so you can so. only work out in a good way instead of, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Do you have anything that you want to add to your experience? If there is somebody who is thinking about it, I would just say, uh, don't think too much because you're gonna overthink it till the moment that you don't want to do it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe sometimes it, it should be emotional driven instead of like rational. Yeah, 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 yeah. This would be the end of the video. Do you want them to follow your Instagram? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll put it down below, I think. Yeah. And so this is Samuel Lash, who's my colleague, and I was super happy that I met you <laughs> at this job. And yeah, she's super talented. She knows a lot of different um, field of things. And maybe next time we will have her again. And to share more about whatever information could that be. <laughs>